Let's take a look at creating belts within a SOLIDWORKS assembly. The belt chain assembly feature is a powerful tool that not only allows you to create a belt component, but also allows you to measure belt length and automatically tie pulleys together with the correct ratio. First we will activate the belt chain command which is here under assembly features. Next we will simply select edges or faces that define the diameters of the pulleys. If the belt is located on the wrong side of a pulley, just switch the direction by clicking on the arrow like this. We can define a locating plane for the belt and also use belt thickness if desired. If you want to make a belt component, make sure you check the box next to create belt part. Now the belt will be located in your component tree. Click to expand the belt feature to reveal the belt part file. Only one sketch appears in the feature tree. You can edit that sketch and create a thin feature boss extrude to create a simple belt geometry. For more complex belts, like the one shown here, you'll need to create a belt profile sketch and sweep that profile sketch around the path generated by the belt chain assembly feature. Now, by driving one pulley, the other pulley spin at the correct ratio.